Thank you for joining me for beginner yoga. Today we'll be working on a detox. So lots of twisting, wringing out of that midsection. And we're gonna start here while I talk about detox, um, just focusing on our breath. And I want you just to listen to your body, calm your mind with each breath. As you inhale, feel that calmness. Just settling your eyes, feel free to close them. And just notice yourself being present in the moment. Notice yourself in this little bubble on your rectangle. And as you exhale, consciously exhale anything that is not serving you, anything that you've been holding in that's holding you back. And then just a couple more breaths. When we talk about detox, just continue with your breathing. As we talk about detox, we talk about twisting or we talk about allowing some of that energy maybe that negative energy and it doesn't mean you think negatively but just anything that you're holding in that body and it could be even just maybe you ate something funky yesterday and we want to get rid of that or you're holding in water or you just need to wring out some of those organs and get fresh blood fresh oxygen into those organs so that our body will work at its full potential Let's bring those arms up to the sky and please be mindful of how your body feels today. Listen to it. Inhale, reach up. So if your body tells you not to twist or your body tells you to drop a knee, I will show you modifications. Listen to your body. Maybe your body's telling you to lay down and do child's pose or been just a savasana. Please, that is still yoga. Relax the arms to the side. Find those sit bones here. You're just sitting however you're comfortable. Relax the shoulders away from your ears. Just gently take it side to side. And it's just a nice light warm up before we get moving a little bit more. Hold it over to one side. Now if you feel yourself sinking into your hips, I want you to lift up and find those sit bones. And imagine your spine is one long position. And then over to the other side. And just let yourself be calm, be mindful, and let yourself be grateful for all the things that you're able to do, the things that you maybe push yourself to do, and the things that are easy for you to do. And shake it out we're gonna go into a little tabletop so just taking ourselves into our hands underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath the hips go ahead and round your back into our first cat draw your belly button in opening up that spine so again we're talking about that detox of wringing things out think of your spine think of your entire trunk exhale dropping the belly into your first cow think of that trunk or your spine as a towel today and then neutral as we go through back around. And when we hold a lot of water, think of that water in that towel, we hold our toxins. We're gonna wring out that water or the toxins that we're talking about our body. Go ahead one more time. So just like a towel, once we wring it out, everything is nice and light. The towel doesn't feel so heavy. It's a lot more floppy, right? You can carry it easier. You can absorb more. So once we're detoxed out, we have plenty of space for all that positivity, all that energy and power around it. Last time, take a breath. Exhale, neutral spine. We're gonna open the knees, touch your toes together, bring it back into your first child's pose. Extended child's pose, knees are wide. Now if it bothers your knees to have your hips back, just keep your hips up. We're gonna extend the arms forward, gently drop your head down, and just give yourself a little massage very lightly on your forehead. Taking consciousness of that third eye, right in the middle of your forehead, hold it center, placing a little bit of weight right on that third eye here, right where our creativity, our mindset, our strength all comes from our mind. 
gently lift up. We're gonna place those hands just under the shoulders for a moment. Take your right arm, and this is just the start of our twisting. Take your right arm. We're gonna thread the needle, but instead of twisting here, we're gonna place the chest forward, and the arm is right at the chest, or above, or just below it, depending on your chest situation. And feel that stretch through the shoulders. Now that left arm is extended forward or maybe bent depending on how your shoulders feel. Feel that stretch along the back of your shoulder. Now take a breath and we're gonna open up. Take that left hand underneath your shoulder and create a twist in that spine. I'm using that left hand to draw my left shoulder away from the earth. Slowly release it. Inhale, take it center. Exhale, left arm threads through. Now we're going to start by keeping the body facing your mat. Gently drop down and rest your head. And then maybe you move that arm just a little bit back and forth depending on your arm and then other arm extends. So I feel a huge stretch through my shoulder and then reaching that right arm. I feel that all the way under my armpit. As you exhale, send that breath to wherever you're feeling that the most. Placing your hand underneath the shoulder. Go ahead and create a twist. So I'm gonna use that hand to draw my shoulder just a little bit, and this is our first twist. So maybe take note in how you feel. Feel those hips starting to open up, that low back. Gently release it, use that hand to lift yourself up. Inhale, go back to your extended child's pose. Now if it bothers your arms to have your arms above you, you can bend the elbows and that'll release some tension in the shoulder. Take a breath. As you exhale, press your chest towards the earth. Maybe lift your head and then drop your head back down or tuck your chin slightly in so you can rest on your forehead. Using your fingertips to push your hips closer to your heels, lengthening that spine. Inhale, lift up. Excellent. Keep your hands where they're at. Bring your knees in. We're going to curl the toes and go into our first downward dog. Now that downward dog, knees could be bent, pedal your heels, open the back of your knees, pointing the tailbone up to the sky. Now we're gonna hold it here and just check in for a second. Look at your hands, they should be facing forward. Look at your elbows, if they're pointing out, bring them in. Press your chin and chest towards your thighs. Bend the knees a little deeper, push your weight towards your heels a little deeper. Even if your heels are lifted, that's fine, or your knees are bent, that's fine. Lengthen the spine up and back. Let your head hang heavy. Take one more cleansing breath. Inhale, feel your ribcage expand. Exhale. Look at your hands. And we're gonna very slowly walk our feet underneath the hips to the front of your mat. Soften in the knees into a rag doll. Rag doll is really just that upper body completely hanging heavy. So think of yourself just really light. You don't have to hold on to anything. Now I have blocks today and I'm gonna show you with or without the blocks as an option. It's a great tool. And then bend the knees, place your hands on your hips. Push your hips slightly forward. Lift up, hinging at the hip. Or if you want a rag doll, tilt that pelvis and slowly come up to a standing mountain pose. So mountain pose, arms are extended. So an extended mountain pose. Hold it right here, take a breath. Exhale, hands and heart center. Just let your shoulders relax. If you need to roll up, you need to shake anything out, you wanna shake those arms, shake it out. And in yoga, we usually set an intention for our practice. If you're not sure what that is, it's really just a plan, an idea, something that gives you a goal. And so today, I invite you to just be present in the moment, whether that's on your mat, and you can take that intention off your mat. Maybe when we're off our mat, taking your phone and pushing it out to the side and being more present with whatever it is that you're doing today. And for now, you're completely present with your mind and your body. Let's slowly come down into our forward fold. Hold it right here. Take your right leg, shoot it back to a low lunge, and we're gonna drop that back knee, flatten the toe. Make sure that knee and your ankle are in line here. So if you feel like you're real close, bring it up and walk it forward, holding right here. Now here's our low lunge. Give me a little pelvic tilt. If you need to, take your blocks and come on up a little bit. 
okay, we're opening up to that hip. Now remember, we talked about twisting today, but our first set is really just about opening the hips first. Release those blocks if you have them. Take your hands, curl your back toe, left foot stays, right foot steps in to your forward fold, inhale, halfway lift. So our halfway lift is where we reset our spine. Gently drop down, take your left leg, bring it into your low lunge and drop it down. Flatten your toes if you choose. Inhale if you want those blocks coming up. Tilt that pelvis slightly forward. So think about squeezing your rib cage together. Can you feel that through the front of the hip? It's really hard to stretch the front of the hip. So if you can get that anytime, slowly release. Inhale, curl the back foot, lift up. Take your left leg, bring it to your right. Hold your forward fold, inhale, halfway lift. Now exhale, we're gonna come up and go into a chair pose. So chair pose, we're sitting back into the heels, maybe you even draw your toes, and you can go lower. I have ankle issues, and so this is as low as I can go without sacrificing my form. So if you can shift back further and get lower, you go right ahead, either arms at your ears or place them hands in heart center, and we all need to modify for our own bodies. That is what is most important here. Here's your chair pose. We're gonna come back to this in a twist, Fire up those legs. Can you feel that? Fire up those abs. Very slowly, come down to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. You can have your hands on the ground or on your shins. Exhale, right leg comes back to your low lunge. Now we're gonna keep this flow, but add on. Drop your back foot. If you choose to lift that back leg, you can hold it here. What we're gonna do is inhale, hands and heart center, and twist. So the left leg is forward. We're gonna twist to the left and take this right arm and place it on your thigh. Now we're gonna press those palms and twist over. Let's make sure that left leg, let me show you what it looks like from the front. So from here, we're twisting, and I like to actually take my arm and create a little deeper twist. I feel like I can get a little deeper, and I'm not pushing too hard, I'm just helping out a little bit. So can you feel that ringing out through that torso? Press those palms together, slowly release. So that's what it looks like from the front. Hands down on the earth, curl your back foot, step your right foot into the left. So we'll end up on the other side. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take it down. Left foot shoots back to your low lunge. Make sure that knee and heel are in line. Inhale, take it hands to heart center. Now remember, you can curl the back foot and hold it and do your twist here or stay with your knee. I'm gonna keep my knee down today and then use that hand if you'd like. I'm gonna press my palms together, but use that left arm just a little bit against the thigh to create a deeper twist. Breathe it out. Notice as you inhale, you might need to release, but as you exhale, create space through that body. Slowly release it. Bring your foot, curl your back foot if it's not already, lift your knee, step in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, and then take it to your chair pose. Hold it, chair pose. Now let's hold our chair pose right here. Notice everything's shifting back, reach it here. Hands and heart center. Here comes that twist. So before we twist, make sure those knees stay. When you twist, sometimes we pop a knee out. So let's twist, check those knees out. You can stay here and twist. You can come down and rest your leg. Or you can come here, rest your arm, and reach up. So you have options. Twist, twist, or twist. And maybe you do one and then the other. Slowly release. Exhale. And I like to use my arm because I have a hard time coming down because of my ankles. And so if I use the arm straight, I can still get that nice deep twist. Now those legs might be on fire. Inhale, take it, arms to ears. And exhale, forward fold. So maybe your legs are nice and warm, inhale, halfway lift. Let's do that flow one more time. Exhale, take your right leg back into your low lunge. Notice now we're opening the front. Inhale. Exhale to twist. So maybe this time you lift your heel and lift that back knee. You choose. Shift your weight back. So if you are up, shift your weight towards your heel. Press those palms. Use that arm on the thigh and really twist it out. Gently release it down. Inhale. Exhale. Curl your back foot and step in to your right. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left leg comes down. 
back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands and heart center, go to that twist. You have the choice to lift that back knee up. Remember, we're pressing those palms. You don't have to have your arm up, just creates tension in the shoulder. So you can still just rest it. And I like to actually press my arm onto my rib cage and get a little bit more of that pressure through that rib cage and torso. Maybe you lift since you did the other side, shift your weight back towards the heel. Holding it, holding it makes it a little harder, right? Do what you need. Inhale, release, arms up. Exhale, lift that back leg, and then step in to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take it to your chair pose. Last chair pose with your twist. Inhale, hands and heart center, twist it. Check out those knees. You can have your arm down or arm up, whatever works for you. There's really no right or wrong. Whatever feels good to you, slowly into the center. Exhale, switch. My legs are tired today. I could feel this chair pose for sure. Inhale, take it to your chair pose. Now this time, exhale, stand up, squeeze your inner thighs. Can you feel everything opening up? And to take a little break, open up your arms into a cactus. Press your shoulder blades back and lift your chin and chest high. So rather than coming back, come up. All right, so rather than just dropping, lift up that spine towards the sky. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands and heart center. Take a second to reset. How do you feel now? Can you feel that nice flow through the body? Everything feels super good. Take your time through the center back into your forward fold. Let's go back to that rag doll. Grab your elbows. I want you to imagine gravity pulling that head towards the earth and let the weight of your arms help a little bit. Now maybe you toe heel your feet a little wider. Let's go ahead and bring them nice and wide. Let your belly fall through your thighs and lengthen that spine here. The deeper the knees are, the more we fall through. Inhale, use those hands. Walk your feet back to a plank and hold your plank. Take a breath. Gently drop your knees, take a breath. Inhale, very slowly, we're gonna point those elbows towards our toes and lower on to our belly. Inhale, holding it here in a little half cobra, roll your shoulder blades back and down, shine your heart bright. And again, rather than trying to lift as high as you can, imagine pressing that chin and chest forward Slowly lower, take a breath. Inhale, using those hands, keep your abdominals nice and tight. Make sure we're not sinking that back. Very slowly lift up. Knees are together this time and rest into your child's pose. Now, if you prefer to have your knees apart, that's completely fine. But notice the difference. The reason our knees are together is so that we have some weight on that belly and we can continue with that detox. Take a nice deep breath. So just like the towel, right? We wring it out, then we open it up, and then we wring it out again, then we open it up. There's always that last little bit. And so we just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze all the way and push that water out the bottom. So think of that as what we're doing right now. Gently release. We're gonna go ahead and swing those legs around and push yourselves to the front of your mat so you have plenty of room to lay down arms at your side. One vertebrae at a time, just very slowly drawing the belly button down. Last exercise is reach the arms, extend those legs. Imagine someone pulling those arms above your head, somebody else pulling your legs away from your hips. And then exhale, release your arms to your side. Take a second. Again, can you feel that lovely tingle in a good way? It's that energy, that blood flow, everything just coming out. Let's bring those knees into the chest. This is our last exercise right here. We're gonna do a little spinal twist. So what we're gonna do is arms at your side, and we do this a lot at the end of our practice. Take your knees to the left. And it's best to take our knees to the left first due to where our digestive system is in our body. So first, we're allowing that digestive system, which is on the left, to kind of rest. 
It's not just hanging there. And that might be a little too detailed. But if you can, go to the left first. Go ahead and look over your right shoulder. Especially after a detox, you just want to make sure in that one last little ring through the center. Take your time in the center if you want to rock back and forth. And then when you're ready, you'll just go over to the right. Look over your left. Arms are nice and long. Palms are open. Open that chest. Feel that stretch of the chest. Very slowly bring it to the center. Make sure you drink lots of water after this class, especially during detox. Slow circles, everything is released into that system. And not only are we breathing it out, but we wanna make sure anything left over, we release out. Extend those legs, arms up, last big stretch, inhale. Exhale, arms at your side. Just allow yourself to be in Savasana. This is yoga right here. Notice how your body feels. Take an assessment. Breathing in that pink light of beauty, of energy, of calmness. Send it all the way through your body, down to your toes. As you exhale, Imagine that rush, just breathing it out, releasing anything that you're holding in and allowing your body to relax. Part of yoga is really that mindset of knowing your body and believing in it, appreciating it being grateful for it, whatever it may hold in yourself. Accepting our challenges, working through them. You're welcome to stay in Savasana as long as you like. We're gonna roll over onto one side, just rest your head on your bicep here. And again, you can stay in Savasana or maybe in this position for as long as you feel. Sometimes that's all you need. You just need a few minutes to lay down and reset. Sometimes our body needs to move a little bit more. So listen to your body. Listen to your brain. Using that top hand to push yourself into a seated position. If you ever have questions, comments, suggestions, or need help with a position, or maybe you don't like something and you want an, uh, a complete variation for that same kind of stretch, please know that you can message me. If you're not already a member, please feel free to click the link for a free members only video. I'd love for you to try all of our classes. And just relaxing that body, relaxing your mind. I'd like to thank you for allowing me to guide you in this practice. Placing those hands right in your third eye center, connecting those thumbs right in there, right at your creativity, your mindset, your positivity. Everything comes right from here. The light in me honors the light in you. And as I like to say, the badass in me honors the badass in you. Namaste. Hi, if you like this video, click the link below or in the pinned comments and we'll send you two members only videos. One stretch class and one hit cardio yoga class that will make you feel strong, confident, and ready to take on the world. So just click that link, put your name, your email, and you'll get full access to both classes. Now, if you like our YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe, click that bell, comment, and like all our classes that you've been taking so we can keep giving you more. We look forward to seeing you in our next Sweat Fit Fam class. Have a great day.